Greetings everybody, I'm Lobo and welcome to Luna. This is episode 175 of my Minecraft survival series and if you've been watching this series for a while you know that from time to time I kind of like to vary up what I'm doing. I mean for a while now I've been working on some some pretty big builds in the overworld right? The Luna Ferry Terminal, the Luna Welcome Center. Last episode we came into the nether to do some non redstone -y farm stuff with the Withering House. We got our Wither Skull farm back up and running. I'm still kind of in the mood to do some non redstone -y farm stuff for this episode as well, but you know, I think we're going to change up the venue a little bit. So I guess I should let you know what that venue is, right? It is, of course, Ender Island. Not to be confused with Ender Ender Island, which we're not going to today. Now, we're not going to be adding anything to the island itself, at least not above ground, because this is more or less complete. This is more or less how I want it, aside from the, uh, swift drop off into the ocean. Instead, we're going to deep beneath the surface. We're going down into our stronghold, in fact. Because in here, laying dormant, laying unutilized is something I've been kind of trying to figure out what I want to do with. And of course, what I'm talking about is our silverfish spawner right here, which lies just outside the portal. Uh, and we're going to kind of be combining what we did last episode with what we're going to do this episode. Because remember, we got some wither skulls, we can spawn some withers and we can also spawn some silverfish and you know that old saying right that old saying the enemy of my enemy gets me wither roses that's kind of the plan so the first out what what in the world i don't know why i took damage here anyway um the first thing we need to do then is build a spawning room around our silverfish spawner and find a way to transport these guys to where we want them to go and i'll go ahead and tell you that in this case that is going to be the main end island. So at this point, you guys have a pretty good idea of part one of this plan. I have uh, my little work area set up. I've got my materials gathered. I got a good way to get back and forth from the surface. Uh, so I think, oh, I'm also going to need to take this beacon out. It's not even activated right now since we're not, this area is mostly done. We're not building over here. Um, I think I might leave like a little three by three beacon in there to make sure the dimensional stabilizer doesn't fail on us, but the whole thing is no longer needed. Anyway. Um, we need to go ahead and get this silverfish spawning and transportation area done. So uh, let's go ahead and get started.
welcome back everybody so at this point we've got most of the fundamentals of this contraption now built uh, as far as silverfish spawning and relocation is concerned and we're not getting around to the wither stuff just yet we're going to take this a step at a time just to kind of you know eliminate any uh any unforeseen unfortunate consequences of doing this uh, but basically we're going to go and just sit by the spawner spawn dozens hundreds of silverfish and then when we come back into the end over here they're going to be waiting for us on the on the platform down there where we spawn in we're on right and then they're going to be transported up this elevator right here and through this water stream over to the center of the end island where our portal is um, and basically what the plan is is at that point i'm going to go ahead and, and bring wolfred on over here he's going to kind of hang out at this little platform right here which is 32 blocks from the farthest edge of this area where we're going to collect all our solar fish eventually um basically just making sure that none of them despawn because this is a long way it's about 100 blocks from there to there um yeah so basically first things first we need to test it make sure we can collect all our silver fish is what i'm getting at so let's go ahead and take a look at the first part of this project uh, that I haven't shown you yet. It's kind of a mess in here, but this is our silverfish spawning room. You see a silverfish right there? So this is basically how we turn it on and off. So this is light on means it's currently off, right? So basically light on means we're blocking their path. They're not going to be able to get over into the soul sand bubble elevator and get into the end portal. Unless they climb over, I want to put a block on top of that to prevent them from doing that. Uh, but I'll get around to that in just a minute. So let me go ahead and show you what happens when we turn the light off and the farm on. Basically, the water stream is going to push our swordfish into the elevator. They're going to flow over this way and drop into the end portal. Now that means we're going to get swordfish after swordfish going into the end portal, waiting for us to come back over to the end while this room is cleared of its swordfish mobs, allowing more swordfish to spawn. All right, so I've hung out here for a few minutes. We should at this point have at least a few swordfish over there ready to gnaw at my feet once I pop in through the end portal. And we are in and no silverfish. Okay, interesting. Um, unless they've already gone up somehow. No, there, there's no swordfish to be seen anywhere. Uh, best I can figure is maybe this area is just still loaded, right? And these guys just did like a natural despawn, which is uh, kind of disappointing um, because, you know, I don't have to go through a whole lot of, I don't know. Uh, maybe we we can adapt, right? We can adapt. Uh, maybe what we'll do is just have Wolfrid keep this area loaded then while we're allowing these guys to spawn in. I mean, we might lose some due to the distance, but uh, I don't know. Let's, let's test that. So at this point, Wolfred is begrudgingly perched upon his platform in the end, surrounded by Enderman, which I'm sure he's loving. I'm going to hang out here and allow some silverfish to spawn, go into the portal, and hopefully I'll be able to confirm on his screen that he's actually seeing silverfish go down the water stream and go where they're supposed to go. All right, so I can confirm at this point that Wolfred's seeing silverfish. We just saw a silverfish go up into the elevator. So basically, we know that part works, right? We know that as soon as they spawn in, though, the water pushes them into the elevator. That's good. Uh, but the problem is them going where they're actually supposed to go because I am watching Wolford's screen and we're kind of getting a little backup happening. I'm assuming due to the way that I've placed the glass right here. So we'll probably, yep, yeah, that seems to help. Uh, but I don't think I picked up that glass. I will, I will have to cut these guys off and try to grab it before they all pour out at me. All right, so there we go. Uh, the water stream aside from that looks pretty good and these solar fish are confirmed getting to this center section, which is nice, you know, so imagine this, but on a much, much larger scale. So I think we can, we can go ahead and give this portion of the contraption a pass. Next step though is to kind of make this area safe for spawning a wither and also keeping that wither contained. What are you guys trying to do? There's nothing over there for you. Now, because I don't want the wither getting loose and firing his faces over there at Ender Ender Island, kind of breaking our Enderman farm, um, I'm going to go ahead and just collect a bunch of obsidian as a precautionary measure because we don't want the wither escaping. We want him trapped, right? I'm not sure the obsidian is actually going to do much for that, but I mean, it does, it makes me feel a little bit more confident. So now I'm sure at this point, you guys have seen people spawn the wither in, in the end, underneath the portal and the wither's face gets stuck in the bedrock. He can't move, he can't do anything. That's basically what the idea is here. I'm just, you know, not confident that it's going to work really. So I just want to make sure he can't blast the hole downward and, and slip out or anything like that, which I know is probably not the case. I'm going to need a little bit more of this stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's basically the idea though. And then 
Silverfish. Oh man, I'm nervous. All right. So at this point, I've allowed uh, Silverfish to build up in here for a little while. Um, and I just want to, I just want to check and make sure that everything's going to work out. So, I mean, I mean, this is like, this is even a test run. This is the full thing over here. Oh man. Are you ready for this, Wolfred? All right. So we should have a pretty good amount of swordfish built up here. That's a good, that's good for a start. Yeah. All right. So we need to build the wither on the west side of our portal. And since the sunflower face is east, we know that this way is west. So we're going to be building the wither right here. Oh man, I am nervous. I am nervous. Uh, mostly because I, I just, I have a feeling that something's going to go wrong. I have a feeling that this isn't actually going to work out. Uh, I didn't bring any potions with me. I didn't bring anything with me to do a wither fight. I mean, uh, you know what? We're here. We're here and we're going to do it. We got a totem. We got our sword. We're ready to go in case anything goes wrong. It looks like he's where we want him though. He's right smack in the middle of that, which is exactly where we want him. And he's, yes, he's stuck. And look at the, look at the swordfish swarming. They're swarming him. A little swordfish horde. Yes. Bite his tail. Gnaw on it. Take some chunks out of it. He hates that. Oh, this is beautiful. We've got some wither roses down there, I see. Oh, I, I just, I, I don't know if I want to run in there and try to pick anything up, though, because I don't want anybody to change their aggro towards me. Right now they're doing pretty good. We've got some wither skeletons down there. Swordfish are making short work of them as well. Oh, oh, you're putting up a valiant fight, Swordfish, but unfortunately it looks like the wither won this battle. All right, so I guess we can go down here and finish him off ourselves. It looks like uh, he's not going to be much of a threat to us, which is awesome. Oh, I should have picked up those wither roses. Now he's going to explode in those things. I, I hope they don't all explode. Okay, so we'll give him a minute here. Uh, and we got an achievement, which you guys can't see. Um, I'm playing on my secondary monitor. It showed up on my primary monitor. Uh, but I mean, stuff that you guys haven't seen before. The beginning, yes. Uh, because remember, at, when we started Phase 2, Season 2 of Luna, I uh, switched to a new account, which is why we're getting the achievements over again. But yeah, that seems to work out well. And also, with minimal damage to the structure here... Um, yeah, and then we got a total of just over a stack of Wither Roses from that short time AFKing at the spawner. Not bad. Not bad at all. So now that we know the concept actually works, we can go ahead and start integrating this into our build. So first things first, get this centered. Uh, we're going to need an easier way to get down there to the spawner from Ender Island, right? So I'm thinking maybe an elevator is in order. All right, it appears that we have broken through. Mm, but we came out to the side of the portal. I was actually thinking we uh, come out over at the stronghold side where we were kind of centering everything on. All right, you know, we can we can make this work. We can make this work. Now, since I am going to be down here for a little while, clearing out some space, building a room, it occurred to me that it might be a good idea to leave Wolfred in the end, keeping that area loaded. Meanwhile, I'm going to be down here, kind of in and out of range of the Silverfish spawner, allowing more of these guys to spawn and make their way to the end and kind of building up our, our horde, right? Our, our horde of uh, future potential Wither Roses. <laughs> Wait a second. I had a door here, right? There, there was a door here at some point. And somebody came and stole my door. There's little zombie door thieves around here. Rude. There we go. All right. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on. Oh, look who it is. Did, did you do it? You steal my door? Funny prank. Hilarious. All right. I made an executive decision. We're actually going to have two elevators because it would make sense to, you know, be able to go up and down, right? So this will be our down elevator. We just drop down into the water. This will be our up elevator. We'll do like a little soul sand bubble column up through here. And uh, I will need to fill this in, like kind of block it off. That way it doesn't have like random uh, holes in it. Uh, I'll get around to that in just a minute. We'll kind of make it more even, get rid of the dirt and all that stuff as well uh, as we seal it in. But And the sand, of course. But yeah, that's basically the plan. Now take us up in here to the uh, dimensional stabilizer room. So go down this way right and then we'll go up this way so i need to get a piece of soul sand for our bubble elevator but i figure while i was doing that we can go ahead and check on how our next wave was doing that's a pretty good start considering we haven't even been building that long uh but now we can go ahead and get our elevators done that's going to be that's going to make getting up and down from the our current work site to our storage room here much 
much easier. So we'll go ahead and drop down here, put this in place, and yeah, there we go. That's nice. That That's going to make it much more convenient. Now, as far as the actual design of this room goes, we're not doing anything super exciting. We're basically going to mimic the aesthetic we have upstairs, just on a smaller scale. So it's not going to look like that. It's not going to be big like the dimensional stabilizer. This is just like kind of a little observation room, right? So uh, basically what I need to do is just clear out a little area, figure out what size I want this room to be, and then kind of mimic the same laboratory feel that we have upstairs. Now, it's not necessarily the best looking laboratory, because remember, Ender Island has been abandoned. Hence all the, the mossy stone and the cracks stone brick we have everywhere you know all that stuff it, it basically just uh it, this place is neglected right and that's kind of the feel i want to to get through here and there we go there we go so it's a plain room all non-essential items have been removed since this place was abandoned everything except for this switch right here which just is a light switch right it turns on some lights might render part of the spawner unoperational i don't know if the lights are close enough to actually do that but uh we can pretend it does, right? At least it shuts off the water stream so we don't get a bunch of solar fish going into the end portal when we don't want them to. Oh, the lights might actually do something because as soon as it turned them off, we had some solar fish spawn here. That was nice. But yeah, this is the room itself. Now, we are going to do something with the spawner room past this, but I feel like at this point, enough time has passed that we can go into the end again. All right. All right. I am ready for another round of Ring Around the Wither. These guys are going to get me some ro rose. <laughs> Can't talk. These guys are going to get me some rosies. Explodey, explodey. And they all fall down. All right. Here we go. Ooh, okay. All right. And admittedly, that was a little bit more destructive <laughs> than last time, but no harm done. I mean, a little bit of harm done. Look, you got a straggler over here. You got a straggler over here. Come on. Uh, join your friends. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But nothing we can't fix, right? But of course, how many Wither Roses did we get at a time? Almost two stacks. Almost. Not bad. Now, before anybody decides to comment and tell me there's more efficient ways to get Wither Roses, I know. If, you, if you've watched the series, you know I'm not about the efficiency. I'm about having fun. And I am, believe me, I am having some fun with this. Excellent. So let's go ahead and move on to the back area behind this window. We need to go ahead and dress this up a little bit. And what I'm thinking it's going to be is kind of like a cave. So what we're going to do is kind of hollow out, you know, this cave and make it look like a cave. That's the idea anyway. And I'm thinking it's going to be kind of an overgrown kind of lush cave in keeping with the kind of overgrown kind of lush aesthetic of Ender Island, right? So this is for a couple reasons. Let me go ahead and explain. First is to promote that cohesion between the different sections of this build on Ender Island, right? Also, I'm going to need some acacia trap doors on the sides of these. I have to remember that. Um, also, it's because, well, I already have the supplies to do that on site. And another reason why I'm going with the overgrown kind of lush feel is because we're going to have water down here. It's going to be kind of a damp area because that's where silverfish thrive, right? That makes sense for why there's such a high population of silverfish down here and why Wolfen's Laboratory entomologists set up this little site to study them. All right, so this is going to be another kind of quick build, but uh, I got the dirt on the ground kind of you know, showing the size and shape of this room. Next thing I want to do is go ahead and shape out the walls, get rid of all the non-gray blocks because the walls are pretty much going to be grays. And I think it probably goes without saying, but we're going to be using more than just stone for this. I'm just doing stone to actually get the shape, which I think is going to be more concave, like the middle of the wall is going to go further out than anything else. Um, and it's not going to be this dark. I'm going to add some lighting here, like spawner wise, like efficiency wise, it probably would benefit us to have this room dark, but then it'd be kind of pointless to build in here anyway. So I do want to have like, you know, I want this to be a build. So, uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to keep some light in here at least. But even though we're doing that, there are things we can do to improve efficiency, right? And one of those things, I can't believe I didn't think of this sooner, is uh, turning off the dimensional stabilizer because right now we have this beacon beam just shining light throughout this whole area, right? But with that off, that should reduce the light levels around the spawner, especially close to the ender portal, which should theoretically help improve the spawning a little bit. Yeah. All right, so at this point, the structure of the room is in, the general shape of it is in. Uh, next step, add details. Now, as usual, we're going to use those details to hide light sources. So we already have a torch back there, which means we can just go ahead and throw some cobblestone walls in front of it. 
And uh, that's going to allow the light to shine through into this room, light up some of this area, but also provide us with a little bit of, little bit of flavor, right? A little bit of mossy goodness. Now let's talk about how much light we actually want in here. I don't really need this area to be non-spawnable, right? We don't need enough light to make this area non-spawnable uh, because we're going to be in that room back there. If we're ever in this area, we'll be in that room, which is close enough to where I don't think we're going to get any mobs spawning out here around us in this area. Uh, basically, I just want to get enough light in so that way we can see what's going on in here. But once we're done strategically placing our walls, then comes my favorite part where we just get to take the remainder and just like like throw it anywhere it'll stick right so let's go ahead and see how this is looking so far yeah big difference right big difference we haven't even got around to placing the leaves varying up the blocks on the floor any of that stuff yet though i do suppose that this would be a good point to go ahead and start doing that now if this is feeling at all familiar to you uh that's because i tend to build in this style a lot this is kind of my go-to at this point i think the most recent time we've done this kind of you know the leaves and the the walls and the the dirt and all that stuff was probably the luna welcome center just a couple episodes back like the landscaping surrounding it the cliffs specifically um but yeah i, I like this i like i kind of just like this build style it's comfortable now, I think I want to add a little bit more green to the foreground as well. I'm wondering if vines right here would cause any problem. I don't think so. I don't know if swordfish can climb vines, but even if they can, they won't be able to get to them because the water's push pushing them towards the center, right? So I think that should be fine. So that's going to kind of obscure our view a little bit and give more the impression that this is like an overgrown, abandoned place. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we think of it. This is primarily where we'll be viewing this room from. This is the observation room after all. Uh, and I think overall, I mean, once these vines growing, especially, I think I'm happy with that. We can roll with that. Uh oh, <laughs> I appear to have angered an Enderman. Hi, Wolford. Doing good? Yeah, me too. Me too. Almost. Oh, look at it. Yeah, that's nice. All right, let me handle this Enderman, then we'll do another, another wither thing. Oh my goodness, I, I am just getting careless. There's another oversight on my part. I left, a, I left a little stairway here for the swordfish to climb out of. Oh, great. And now now this is happening. Listen, we're going to get rid of half these guys with my thorns, aren't we? Oh, my goodness. All right. Now get out of here before we, we waste before we waste any more of the swordfish horde. Ah! Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and do do this again now what i want to do this time is try to start collecting wither roses as the wither is taking these guys out because I'm, I'm wondering if any of them are getting blown up if we're having any issues hi enderman leave me alone please uh i'm wondering if we're losing any that's what i'm kind of curious about so this time i'm going to go ahead and run through once it looks like he's taken some out and then collect wither roses as is going hopefully i don't uh anger any of the silverfish and get them onto me instead all right so we got a couple down there I'm thinking we can just run through here safely. Yes, okay, so this, this does work. We can do this. Uh, we're not really taking any damage at all. Um, yeah, so, oh, and here we go. Now we can go ahead and collect them. We got a full stack already. This is beautiful. This is this is nice. I'm, I don't even know if they're actually getting exploded or not. I just don't want to risk it if they are. All right, so, yeah, that, uh, that brings us up to nearly two stacks again. Very good, very good. All right. So at this point, uh, we can go ahead and take out the wither, get ourselves another nether star. I am now withered. Oh, and I don't have any regen or health. Okay, but we do have a totem, so we're fine as long as no endermen uh, decide to join in on, on the fun, right? So we'll just hang out here and hope that we don't have to use this. It's looking like we might. Yep. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. You and me both, Wither. <laughs> you and me both. Oh, I have milk, don't I? <laughs> now, I do want to take a couple more cracks at this before we end this episode, but I also have other stuff I need to do elsewhere. So I've gone ahead and placed Wolfred over at the spawner. He and I have dollied the malfunctioning decoy dog over here to keep this area loaded while I'm away. I don't think Wolfen's laboratory is going to be able to track this guy here because as far as I know, as far as I understand, the tracking systems, his tracking system, just like this compass, are offline in both the nether and the end. So we should be good on that front. Now, as far as what we're going to do and where, 
Well, we're coming up on Halloween, and next week's episode is in fact the Halloween special, and I figure what better place to spend it than the Madhouse, but what can we do in here that would really help us out, right? Well, the answer is pretty simple. We need to speed up our travel. You see, we had these ice roads in here previously, but their usefulness got kind of erased when we when we uh, changed the world over to Bedrock, when we had the dimensional shift, right? So these no longer really do what they used to do as far as getting us to places quickly. Uh, what I'm thinking we could do instead though, is use our soul speed books that we got, put soul speed on our boots, and maybe just redo the entire floor in soul sand, possibly soul soil, whichever we get more of. Now, I didn't actually say what we're about to do. We're about to get soul sand or soul soil. That's the whole purpose of me starting this clip. Uh, basically, I need to prepare for next episode because, you know, retrofitting the entire madhouse, that's a big project. So I want to go ahead and just get started collecting what we need to collect now. Now, fortunately, our nether mine is in a soul sand valley, so that should make collecting this stuff fairly easy. Uh, so let's get started. So we did end up collecting a pretty good amount of soul sand, soul soil. I didn't calculate how much we needed. I just I just picked out a number, and that number was six. So we got roughly six shulker boxes filled with soul sand and soul soil. Uh, I'll go ahead and bring you down there now so we can look through them. I got some other odds and ends as well that I came across along the way. I didn't really make an effort to collect other stuff. I just got whatever was most convenient for me. So shulker box, shulker box, shulker box. Uh, shulker box. Let me go ahead and put this gold in here, though. Uh, and then we got these couple shulker boxes over here as well. So, off to a pretty good start, I think. But we've been gone for a while, and I'm getting the itch, so I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in another wither. Uh, we can collect some more wither roses. This time I am just gonna stand back and just, you know, let, let nature take its course. Uh, and then, uh, we'll go down there and just see how many wither roses we end up getting. This should be a pretty good amount of, uh, wither roses. Considering the uh, the amount of uh, the amount of little dudes down there, what are they called? Silverfish? Yeah, silverfish. Man, 
That was that was actually that was destructive. I mean, it was also pretty good though. Like we almost had we did have some silverfish outlast the wither. Why weren't you guys helping your friends? Come on now, teamwork. Oh, but look at that. We only got we got less than a stack of wither roses that time. I'm thinking he definitely probably blew some of them up. <laughs> so yeah, we may have to do some manual collection while the uh, the actual you know the the gnawing of the tail is happening. But I think we're probably good at this point to go ahead and unleash the floodgates. These guys are starting to back up a little bit in here. Uh, and then we'll go experiment with the uh, the soul speed. So here's what I know. I know that putting the slabs over the eyes basically makes the eyes completely pointless. I want to see if the slabs have the same effect on the soul sand or soul soil. Probably the soul soil is what we use. Um, and then I want to see if how the ice compares to the soul speed just in general and just figure out what would be our best course of action here. I know I already collected the soul sand. This probably would have been a good uh, experiment to run prior to doing that. But here we have two, count them, two Soul Speed 2 books. I believe we got these from that Bastion Remnant, if my if memory serves. And we can throw those bad boys into the anvil, get ourselves a Soul Speed 3. Then we'll throw that bad boy right there. We have to take off our little, little pad protectors right here. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw these in here as well. And, oh man, look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a nice pair of boots, right? That's a nice pair of boots. And they're comfortable too, like they're already broken in. All right, so let's see if this is worth it. I did say we we're gonna experiment with the ice first. I just realized I'd, I'd have to lower the ceiling to get our jumpy jumpy ups and downs. I'm not even gonna bother with that. So we'll just do the soul soul experiment, see if we can tell a difference. So first, over slabs, I feel no difference at all. And then over plain soul soul, that boost! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! That's that's nice. Okay, so th yeah, this is this is going to be worth it. We're rolling with this. I wish there was something we could put over this though. I mean, the slabs, uh, something lower than that. Trap doors, trap doors possibly. This is going to be nice though. I mean, it is going to take some durability out of our boots, um, but I think I think it's worth it. I do think it's worth it. Yeah, we're rolling with the trap doors. Dark oak trap doors. That's going to replace the dark oak slabs as our floor. Um, I kind of like the look of this. I've also raised up the ceiling because we don't have to have it low to do the bouncy bouncy anymore. Now, when we want to go somewhere, we just run. We just run. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's crazy. I'm like throwing myself back against the chair because it feels like I should doing this. All right. So, yeah, that's a little sneak peek as to what we're doing next episode, at least part of it. And we're back here yet again. This time, I'm just kind of going back and forth, figuring out the best way to do this, right? So this time I am going to go through there one, once again and just collect the wither roses as they drop. I got my milk on me in case I get withered. Get the roses, get the roses, get the roses. I get withered, I'm withered. Okay, okay, uh, milk, milk. Ooh, that was early. Okay, you know, I feel like I, I need more milk. I, I need to bring more milk in here with me. I need a cow. I'm not gonna bring a cow to the end. I should, but I'm not going to. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go, let's go again. Okay, eh, 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 don't get withered, don't get withered, and we're out, we're gone. All right. <laughs> oh, look at that, that's so many, that's, is that all from this? I don't know, that's a lot. It's a lot of wither roses. Okay, bye-bye now, Mr. Wither. <laughs> Give me this. This is mine. You guys ready for another round? I am. I've been AFK for a while. We let some silverfish build up in here. I'm ready to go again. This time I got plenty of milk on me, so I'm not going to be scared to just get in there and collect wither roses as they drop. So, as soon as this guy uh, does does his little explodey explodey and, and takes out, as soon as we see those puffs of smoke in mass, that's when we're going to start running in there. There we go. All right, let's get it. Oh, no milk. No milk just yet. No milk just yet. Not until we actually get withered. Not until we actually need it. All right. Uh, it, oh, that was a nice one. That was a nice one. Oh, we, we had a little we had a little accident. Oh, uh, there's no water. Okay. Yeah, we're good. All right. Come on out, silverfish. You can you can come up this way as well. All right. Ooh, this feels good. This feels like it's going to be a good one. And oh, it was. It was indeed. Look at that. 
All right, so we got our strategy down now. Now, just because we didn't use any milk that particular round, that doesn't mean I don't want to have a replenishable source on hand. So I went over here to this, uh, uh, oh my goodness. Stop it. Stop it. Leave me alone. Leave, leave my cow alone. Oh my goodness. What in the world? Cow. He was, he was clearly after you. I know, right? Now, I did say I wasn't going to bring a cow into the end, but I do feel like this guy might feel right at home over here at Ender Island. Um, I do think he might require better accommodations, though. Wow, this episode is all over the place. If that bothers you, I do apologize, but it's going to be worth it for what this is going to allow us to accomplish in our world. You know what? This is a popular cow. He's already making friends. He's got some other animals <laughs> coming over here to visit him. So we're going to leave out plenty of food and drink for all of them. So that way they can kind of hang out. Uh, so we'll go ahead and throw this right in here. Then uh, we'll fill out the back of this so it doesn't look like the water's just floating right there. Uh, and yeah, that should be good, I think. All right, so you got food, you got water, I got milk. This is what you call a mutually beneficial relationship. All right, guys, I can't resist. I'm sorry. One more time. I promise this will be the last time we do this in this episode. I mean, this is just like, if nothing else, it's a lot of fun. It is other stuff, but it's also just a ton of fun. It's it's ridiculous. Um, there, I do have some other stuff. This episode is going to run so long. <laughs> you know what? Worth it. Definitely, definitely worth it. I, I still have another star coming my way. Hold on. We're not done yet. <laughs> I still have another star coming my way. Come on. Give it up, man. Give it up. Come on. We don't have all day. People are people are waiting. We got stuff to do. I still got other stuff I need to do here. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. So I do have one final thing planned for this episode because, you know, this was an episode revolving around Withers. I would hope you guys know me well enough at this point to know that I'm not going to do an episode on Withers and not do an actual Wither fight. Right? So... Let's do it. Oh, nope. I did it wrong. <laughs> I did the timeout. Hold on. Uh, reset. Uh, I did it wrong. He, he he needs some room to breathe in his armpits. His armpits need to air out a little bit. All right. Uh, let's, let's do it now. There we go. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. First contact. This is uh, our first wither fight in bedrock. Um... Nervous. A little bit. Yeah. Oh my goodness! How did you get over there? He's a ninja! He's a magician! Get some more milk. And oh! There's our second bucket of milk gone already. Okay, not off to uh not off to the best of starts. All right, it's on now. So we'll strafe. Oh, got him with his own skull. Okay, okay. Now, now we're coming back. Okay. So we'll forget about all that embarrassing stuff that happened with me running away just nonstop a little while ago, and uh, we'll pretend that, that the fight starts here and now, because you know that was just getting warmed up, right? All right, I didn't I didn't do such a good job dodging those ones, but you know what? We got we got a couple hits in. We got a couple good hits in. Oh, mm, there he goes again. There he goes again. Okay. All right, we're good. Uh, mm, come on, come on. Oh, that, I, I let my, I let my hearts get down a little bit low that time. Oh, we are not looking good on the milk front. <laughs> we are not looking good on the milk front. Plan. I'm gonna try not to get hit, right? If I don't get hit, I can't get withered, <laughs> right? So th that's that's the plan for pretty much any fight. Try not to get hit. We're gonna. Mm, okay, that didn't last long. Oh, guys, we are on to the last bucket of milk. 
All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. does seem like it's it's the best way to go it's at least the safest way to go it might not be the most you know practical or efficient way to go but uh i feel like it's definitely the safest problem is though ow problem is that uh i didn't bring any more rockets than this with me so uh i'm not sure how long we're actually going to be able to keep that keep that up Especially if I keep wasting them like that. Oh, there we go. Okay, he, his shields are up. His shields are up. So uh, we're we're in this with the uh, the sword now. All right. So all right, we got him right here, right where we want him. Actually, this is not anywhere near where I want him. <laughs> this is not anywhere near where I want him. Oh my goodness. Okay. We'll go ahead and, and take the strength. We'll try to get in as many hits as quickly as possible. He's in he's in the air. Okay, I wasn't I wasn't prepared for that. Come on down. Come on. Oh, okay, there we go. And now's our chance. Now's our chance. I'm withered. I am very, very withered. Regen. Regen, come on. Fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Okay, you know what? Uh, I, I gotta do it. I gotta, I gotta get rid of the regen and strength. Oh my goodness, that was close. Okay. That, uh... About a milk. Cow? <laughs> Cow? Cow! Cow! Perfect! Yes! Hi, Cow! A sight for sore eyes, Cal. Oh, thank you so much. I'm, I'm ever so grateful. Oh, the problem is, though, it's now nighttime. I'm being shot at by strays, uh, which is not good because now I have slowness. Okay, so this is this is not this is not an ideal situation. Ah! There's two two buckets of milk already gone. And a pretty good amount of my health as well. You know what? I, I think he's pretty preoccupied at this point. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe we go take a little nap. You know, maybe we go take a little nap, kind of recharge the batteries a little bit. I feel like he just exploded the entrance to my to my humble abode. Um, yep, yep. But we're okay. We're okay because everything inside survived, and that's that's what's important. And all the all the strays are on fire, which is also very important. Yeah. Caught one in the air. Okay. Okay, so we'll just glide in gently underneath them. We're going to get one hit. I'm going to try to get one hit per rocket used. Hopefully that's going to be enough to take him out. We shall see. Oh, there. Okay, already failed. Already failed. That's a twofer. That's a twofer. All right, now I know I took a break to reload on the milk. I also know I took a break to take a nap. Uh, I am not going to take a break and go somewhere and get firework rockets. If, if it comes to that, we're gonna we're gonna continue this fight on the ground. There we go. 
There we go. Twofer. Another twofer. Good, good. All right, down to eight rockets. You know, I will say this though. Up here in the air, like doing doing like an aerial fight, the pacing is so much slower. It's almost, almost leisurely. All right, we're gonna have to make these last rockets really count. All right, so he's directly above us. Hit. Okay, and then on the way down, we'll try to get at least another hit in. Perfect. Three. Yes. Yes. hit this guy with that one two again we need to get that get that one and then that two yes 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 oh beautiful beautiful oh look at that silhouetted by the sun look at that oh exploded we got his, his particles just dropping down raining bits all over the ground there's my nether star yes yes Oh, I think that's enough excitement for one day. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please feel free to hit that little thumbs up button. That would mean a whole lot to me. And if you want to see more, please remember to subscribe. But as always, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I deeply appreciate it. And until next time, I am Lobo, and I will see you guys later.